There was cautiously some good news coming from racing this week in the shape of a 97 million uh, levy income from the horse racing or to the horse racing betting levy board. Now that was slightly in advance of initial expectations which is not something we've said often in the last 10-15 years let's face it so how is that money now going to be distributed to the to the benefit of racing in this very difficult time the man to answer that question hopefully is the chief executive of the levy board Alan Del Monte who joins us on the line again now a rather a rather indistinct Alan Del Monte but it is definitely you Alan I can see that Hello, Nick. It's definitely me. Hello. Uh, and not, not the best of lines either, but I, it's really important subject matter, this. Um, how, how significant was that announcement that you made earlier in the week of the 97 million? How important is that to racing right at this time? Um, it's important particularly because it removed one of the big uncertainties for us, which was that we didn't know what our starting point was going to be for the, the current levy year. So yes, it is extra money that's come in. We were estimating 90 to 95 million. Um, it's almost more important that it wasn't below expectation than the actual amount of um, uh, money extra on top, because it means that we can now carry on with our planning with confidence that we have the money that we expected to have. So when, if and when racing comes back with a sub substantially pared down programme, to what extent, I'm not going to ask you to go through every single race of every different class of horse, but to what extent will your, your funds be able, to, be able to top up what the race courses are obliged to give as part of the minimum value? Well, what, well to what extent will you be able to top up, do you think, to the satisfaction of, of the horsemen? I don't think it will be to complete satisfaction because in a normal month, prize money in total is about 13 million. And the levy board on average currently gives about 5 million. Uh, if the levy board had 13 million a month, it could give the prize money, it would already be giving it. So we are very um, cognizant of the fact that we are going to be the main contributors to prize money when racing restarts. And we will be giving more than we normally give. Uh, but we have to remember also that when racing restarts, we're already spending and has been since March, two and a half million pounds a month on our other grant uh, payments to important parts of the industry. They haven't stopped. And that when racing restarts, we are almost certainly not going to have betting shops open. So all of our income will be from online betting only. Uh, although there are some estimates about what that might be, we simply don't know what it will be. So uh, we have to be careful that we don't completely a go overboard at the start because we have a long road ahead of us um, to manage with with limited funds but we will be doing more than usual that's what the reserves are there for um, the money is there for some top up but um, it won't be it won't be back to a hundred percent of the norm or anything like that but it will be something that we we think will be uh, sustainable and fairly distributed and Inevitably, when you get a situation where there is a, a shortfall of money, the effect of that is a delayed one, because at the moment you have funds to distribute. A year from now, your funds to distribute will surely be affected significantly what, by, by what's happening now. What, what are you forecasting down the road? How bad is this going to get in, in, in the months to, ahead? Um, it's impossible to say, and we're not forecasting at the moment. The, the sensible way for us to look at this is on a, a short-term basis now, which is to say what we would like to do is be able to give a commitment for, say, two to three months when racing restarts, that this is the guaranteed amount of money that the levy board will be able to put into prize money. And then once we restart, with the help of the bookmakers who have uh, been very uh, helpful already in, in assisting us with the forecasting, they will give us information on betting activity as it restarts that will then help us to set budgets for the next month or the next two months after the first period uh that, that's really the only sensible way we can go about it at the moment um we don't need to set a 2021 budget until later in the year so we're looking at this as, as a short-term uh, planning um process at the moment 
Um, and what we've done for racing, uh, uh, we look at this as being in three stages. We've had stage one of the initial help that we gave to the sport straight out of our reserves, uh, cash flow assistance to race courses, uh, 20 million pounds of cash has been available to race courses. There's 8 million pounds available to the sports participants through the Racing Foundation. That's stage one. Stage two is the resumption payments that we make. And stage three is the ongoing support that we can give. And it's very easy to forget stage three, but there's going to be a period ahead of us where betting shops won't be open almost certainly straight away. Race forces won't have crowds straight away. So we've got to make what we have stretch as far as we can, uh, thinking about balancing, spending the right amount at each of those stages. Um, it seems an appropriate moment to point out that had it not been for uh, the sport persuading government to close the offshore loophole, uh, the sport could be in seriously, seriously dire straits now. Yeah, um, so the, the, the extension of the levy overseas three <coughs> years ago brought in an extra 40, 45 million in statutory income. We were getting about 15 million a year in voluntary payments. But you're absolutely right. Without the levy having been uh, extended, the, the, the scenario now would be, um, would be incredibly difficult because we wouldn't have any um, immediate prospect of statutory income and we'd be reliant on, on the voluntary agreements that we had before. I'm sure the irony is not lost on, on a lot of people watching this programme, that that of course will go down probably as the most significant achievement brought forward under the BHA stewardship of the current Chief Executive, relative to what we were speaking about a few moments ago. Yeah, it, it clearly was very important. It was something that everybody um, worked on to achieve. It, it was very difficult to, to achieve uh, and took a number of years to actually make happen and it, it had obviously um, transformed the levy board financial position in the last um, three years. Uh, you and I have spoken a few times in the last in the last couple of weeks and, and you are an understanding man by nature Alan but I, I, I sense that you have a you ha have an understanding or an appreciation of a lot of frustrations of, of people within the industry whilst whilst accepting that there has been a decent collaborative effort to, to get this this show on the road. Just talk me through what, what your life has been like over the last month or so. Well, um, I think for, um, for those of us who are um, involved in this area, it, 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 every day is a long day and there are many meetings and many conversations that they happen through the weekends and into the evening and that's that, that's just how it is at the moment. Um, it, it has to be that way. Um, there is a real, um, uh, an awful lot of hard work going on. Uh, some of that you, you've seen or you've you referred to already with, with BHA's um, announcements at the end of last week around potential race programmes. Um, but there are all sorts of other discussions around the protocols that will apply so that the sport can come back safely when it's appropriate to do so. Um, a lot of people are working very hard to make that uh, happen. And I think everybody understands that there is frustration and um, that these things um, uh, are, are understandable at a time when the sport is off. Everybody is focused on getting it back on again, but it has to be in, in the context of what's happening in the rest of society and with, 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 with what government are doing in other areas. Um, those two things can stick together perfectly happily and we are all focused on the same thing, getting the sport back, which is essential for the rural economy and for employment and for the breeding industry and for the, the, the future ownership of horses and so on. It all has to it all has to happen, but it has to happen at the right time.